Hello, and welcome to PROMS. That's Patient Reported Outcome Measures. This video will be most useful to you if you already know the basics about PROMS, and hopefully you've watched the previous videos in this series which have given you an insight into what PROMS is and what we publish. In this video, I'm going to show you around our interactive score comparison tool to help you find data for hospital trusts and understand how to interpret it. This is a spreadsheet tool that is released as part of the full data release every quarter in February, May, August and November. You can tell a quarterly publication by the maps screenshot in the key facts section. Video 4 in this series deals with Google Maps, but it's the score comparison tool that we're interested in at the moment. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the page where we will see all the publication resources that have come out in a quarterly release. Now, let's click on the score comparison tool and open the Excel. For this demonstration, I'm using a version of Office 2013. However, the score comparison tool may not open in very early versions of Excel. However, let's take a look at some data. First, key facts. This provides an overview, and as with the other sections of the tool, there is a guide that you can read at your leisure. However, we want to get some data, so let's go to the adjusted health gain chart. Using this, you can see a range of charts that can be set to three levels of organisation. England, Clinical Commissioning Group and Provider. And it also has the names of the organisations in that category in an alphabetical list. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose Provider Level Information and York Teaching Hospitals NHS Trust from the bottom of the list. Immediately, we can see how many eligible hospital episodes have taken place at York, how many pre-operative questionnaires have been returned, and how many post-operative questionnaires have been sent and returned, with a rate for participation in PROMS and a rate for post-operative questionnaire response. As you can see, York's participation rate, that is the number of pre-operative questionnaires returned out of the number of procedures undertaken at the Trust, is fractionally higher than the England participation rate, and they also have a slightly higher response rate. The four charts below show the adjusted average health gain, that is, the health gain adjusted to take into account differences in the mix of patients that hospitals treat. What does that mean? It is not usually appropriate to compare one trust's figures to another directly because they may have treated very different mixes of patients. After all, it wouldn't be too surprising if Hospital A, which treats mostly young, fit patients with no other health problems, does better than Hospital B, which mostly treats more complicated cases in patients with other health conditions. To make for a fair comparison, we've applied some statistical models that account for different case mixes and come up with adjusted average scores. The dark blue bar represents the hospital, while the light blue dot represents England. You'll also notice that in some instances there are no bars at all. This is because there are not enough modelled records to display the bars. In fact, there may not be any. This can change throughout the year as data comes in. This is because information is cumulative so each subsequent score comparison tool supersedes the previous one until the final publication. On the Key Facts tab, which is the second part of the Key Facts section, you get some short tables of information. This includes the linkage rate. That's a technical measure that's important for data quality, as it's the percentage of PROMS questionnaires for which we've been able to attach extra data from the patient's hospital record so higher linkage rates are better because it means we've had more data to analyse. You can also see that we don't need to select York again. It's tied to the adjusted health gain chart tab, so whichever provider you select will be replicated on the key facts. This is good for seeing how your hospital is doing compared with England, but if you want to see how they're doing compared with other trusts, then you need to make use of the Select 10 table. This is a quick and easy way to compare up to 10 organisations. You choose a procedure and a measure from the drop-down boxes and your providers or CCGs in the box below. 
If you want to see how well hospital trusts are doing compared against each other, this is where you want to look. Just remember not to compare unadjusted averages because that wouldn't be statistically valid. The adjusted figures are in the columns on the right. This just leaves the funnel plot. The funnel plot allows us to compare average results for each hospital trust to the All England figures. Let's look in an example. I'm going to select uh, the groin hernia, the EQ5D index, and I'm going to swap to a provider and I will go to York as we've already gone with York so far this time. Each of these blue dots represents a hospital provider with the orange dot representing the selected organization, in this case, York. If no orange dot appears, then the organization doesn't have enough modeled records to appear on the chart. The blue line across the middle is the England average, and some of the dots are higher and some are lower. This is just what we'd expect. There's always going to be some variation. Now, look at the dotted lines along the edges of the funnel. These are called the control limits and they mark a boundary beyond which we can say that a provider is doing significantly better or worse than average. There's a choice of 95% and 99.8% control limits which are shown with different styles of dashes and they show two different levels of statistical significance. As you can see York has an average that is lower than the All England figure, but it's inside the control limits, so we can't justify saying that it's significantly worse. It might just be a random variation in the mix of patients has led to a lower than average figure on this occasion. But how about if we choose a different trust? This is East Lancashire Hospital's NHS Trust. You can see that they are above the 95% control limit, and it is under the 99.8% control limit, so their patient's average health gain is significantly better than the England wide. If we look at the funnel data tab, we can confirm this. And you can see there it is classed as upper 95%. Now, we must note that being outside the control limits doesn't necessarily mean that a provider is doing anything good or bad. It just means that if it is a 99.8% outlier, there is only a 1 in 500 chance that their results would be so significantly far from the All England figure just because of random variation. So the results may warrant some further investigation, whether they are upper or lower. I hope this has been useful. And if you have any queries about anything you've seen in this video, please contact us. You can email us at inquiries at hscic.gov.uk or call 0300 303 5678. Thanks for watching.